Hi everyone, it's me, Lindsay, with Equip Me OT, here today to talk about bed sore management pillows. Now these pillows are specifically designed to help with positioning to either prevent or help with the healing of bed sores. Bed sores and pressure sores in general can be so frustrating and very stressful and can even be fatal if they don't heal well. So it's so important that these are treated and that you have options in order to do so with the greatest comfort and ease for both caregiver and for the individual with the sore. So I'm gonna talk about three specific types of pillows. Um, all three are gonna fall in different price points. So the hope is that you'll find something that works for your needs, but also could work for your budget. Um, it's important to note that bed sores are caused by three things. They're caused by a combination of uh, constant pressure as well as moisture and friction. So that combination of issues can cause pressure sores to develop, and they typically develop in areas where the bone is close to the surface of the skin, like on the back of the head, shoulder blades, um, coccyx, sacrum, along the spine, and then in the ankle area. It is common to get bed sores, especially in the low bottom um, coxal sacral region, and that's what these particular pillows are designed to really help offload the pressure on. So like I said, we're gonna jump into three of them. I'm gonna show you how, to, how they look positioned and kind of go over the different features that they offer. So this one is the first option. It is the cheapest one of the three I'm gonna show. All three are available on Amazon and I'm gonna put links down below. This one's currently for sale on Amazon for around $50. The prices may change a little bit, so that's the current price. This comes with two pieces. It comes with this pretty small half moon si uh, size pillow that fits into the wedge like this but it also has this piece. And what's important about these and all three pillows is the actual cutout, because this allows us to attempt to go zero pressure on the pressure sore region. This one comes with just the case that you see on it, which is made of a synthetic material, but it's nice and soft. The internal structure is a closed foam. It's pretty firm, um, but it does taper to a pretty soft foam down at the edges, which I'll show you might be a little challenge depending on the size of the user. Um, it is not waterproof. There is no waterproof cover on this. So if you were using it with somebody who had a wound that was weeping, um, it had any sort of moisture coming off of it, or if they're incontinent, you'd want to make sure and put a chuck pad or some sort of waterproof pad over top of this before placing it underneath the individual. Because if this gets wet, it's not gonna be easy to clean, sanitize, or dry. So that's important to mention. It does have a non-skid base, which all of them do, but this one leaves a little something to be desired in that the little dimples that are supposed to be non-skid are a little hard and not particularly sticky. So you might need to add additional non-skid underneath it using a slice of Dyson or even things like um, cabinet liners or under rug liners to keep it from sliding out from underneath the person that's using it. So now let's show you how it looks in position. Okay, so I have both parts of the pillow. I'm gonna take this little piece out. We can use that separately for something, but I'm gonna place this underneath my, um, my willing guest here. We're gonna wrap our arm here. We're gonna bend the knee up. And if the individual can help, have them help with as much as possible in the rolling process. And I'm gonna have him roll up onto his side. You want this underneath the shoulder blade and as far underneath the bottom as possible. He's about five foot six. So this is even a little bit short for him. This is the smallest of the three pillows and you'll see the other two are a little bigger. I'm gonna really push these ends underneath and then I'm going to have him roll back over onto his side here. We could use this extra small pillow under the knees here just to kind of give him a place to put his knees. Now I can test to see if he's actually offloaded by reaching under here into the hole. And yes, his low back sacrum is in fact off the bed entirely with this. It's fairly soft. I do worry that a heavier person might sink into this a little bit more over time, but generally speaking, not a bad option if you're looking for a budget solution or something that's gonna be only used for a short period of time during an acute recovery phase, this will work. And like I said, I would make sure and cover this with a waterproof pad or a chuck pad um, if I needed to put it on somebody who was incontinent or struggling with a weeping or open wound area. So. That's how this one works. Let's see the next one. All right, so this next pillow is by Lundberg and it's a, it offers a few unique features. Um, it's a different shape. You can see it's kind of got this crescent moon shape, still has that cutout to take the weight off of those pressure prone areas. This comes with two covers in the order. It's at $110, so it's a pretty good deal for two covers plus the pillow, and I'll show you the pillow has an extra feature. Comes with what they call their comfort cover, which has um, the non-skid back. It is a better non-skid back than the first one, a little bit more rubbery in the grip. And this is a nice, soft, synthetic material. 
Then it also comes with this waterproof layer, which I think is really important with these. You can absolutely keep this dry and be able to wipe it. Um, you can still add a chuck pad over it for extra protection. But one thing about this one that's really unique is it is expandable, which the um, is unique to this particular design. If I open it up here, you'll see it comes in two pieces. You have this small insert pillow to give you extra um, height, depending on the height of the person or the size of the person that you're trying to elevate or just how much offloading you need to do. If you really need to clear the entire back, you can add this extra thing. It's gonna put somebody almost entirely on their side. You can also remove it and you have just the regular size pillow and you can zip that back in. So really easy to use, um, pretty nice product. So let me go ahead and show you what this one's gonna look like in position. So as you can see, this pillow, because of its different shape, is also longer from tip to tip than the first one I showed, which is nice for individuals who are on the taller side. Again, he's around 5'6", um, and either pillow works for him, but really if you're dealing with anyone who's taller than 5'10", this is your minimum. Um, you really don't wanna go much smaller than this. All right, so I'm gonna have him lift his knee up. I'm gonna have him reach over and roll onto his side for me. And then you can see how much farther down this is gonna go. I'm still gonna place it at his shoulder. I do have the extra pillow in this. So this is a really high wedge and you'll see how, how kind of up on his side this puts him. So I'm gonna have him go ahead and roll back. And you can see he is much more upright. I would have an additional pillow here to put between his knees for greater comfort. Um, even a, a longer pillow, like a body pillow here to kind of wrap his arms around because he's in such a upright angled position. Now, if this is too aggressive, we can take out that extra pillow and make it a little bit less. But I can check here, he's fully offloaded. The whole length of his low back is completely offloaded as well as his tailbone. So this is going to get you a lot more clearance for wound healing. So let's go ahead and look at that third option. All right, so here's the third option. Coming in at $123, this one is by Jewel Nursing Solutions and it's a very similar shape and size to the one I just showed. Um, this one comes with just the single cover um, and this cover has a really nice quality um, uh, grippy bottom, which I like. This cover is not removable. So unlike the first two, this cover completely seals in the foam. Um, and it is a water resistant cover. I would suggest since it's not a removable cover, this one I would definitely cover with something if again, you're dealing with an incontinence issue or uh, issues with a weeping wound that you just really wanna make sure you don't accidentally seep into the foam. Um, it's a really nice quality. This one's entirely made in the USA and um, it's just a great product. The one thing I will say, this one and the one I just showed both come with really nice instructional manuals that give you not only details about how to use the pillow, but information that might be really helpful in managing wounds. So this one was developed by nurses, so it comes with a nice little guide. That's a great thing to offer in addition to good customer service. So I'm gonna show you how this one looks, and you can see this one's at the height that the second pillow would be if you removed the extra pillow. So you can kind of see the height difference on how much it puts the individual up on their side. Okay, so let's go ahead and have him roll up on his side, and you can see with this slightly lower um, height, just what that looks like in position. So again, raises his leg up, reaches over to the side, and I'm gonna, you can see here, there's a bit more, without that extra lip, this is thinner, so it's a little easier to tuck underneath, but I'm gonna give it a little bit of a push underneath the shoulder blade, underneath the, the bottom, and then I'm gonna have him roll back onto it for me. And you can see, he's much um, less extreme up on his side. I'm gonna check for the offload here, Again, still has a good amount of clearance. This is a, a little bit softer, I think, than the other one, the one we just showed. Um, maybe a little bit more comfortable, but if you're working with a heavier individual, so somebody who's 200 plus pounds, they may start pressing into this foam more over time. It's really one of those things where you have to know the individual you're working with, what is the budget, what are the needs of their um, pressure sore management. And as with all of these, strongly recommend that you be working with your healthcare providers for the management process, wound care specialists if necessary. But hopefully these will offer you some assistance to make the process of wound care and wound prevention a little bit easier. If you need more information like this on how to stay safe and independent in your home and community, consider subscribing to Equip Me OT. Thank you.